Hey guys, RDMFJ here with a little something a little different. Been getting dirty today in the garage. Uh, wanted to do a review on the Maddox cooling system test and refill kit. Now this was available at Harbor Freight. And I am somewhat of a Harbor Freight guy. I don't like everything from Harbor Freight at all. But Harbor Freight sometimes, you know, works out. So here's what's going on. What would I use this for? Well, in my case, I have about four four Fusions right now, Ford Fusions of various years and models. So I am like a Ford Fusion. We have a fleet of Ford Fusions at this point. And you know what? They work good. They run good. I like them. Uh, now, days you can get them pretty cheap and uh, you don't have to make payments on them. And they're relatively simple to fix on most things until you get a thermostat that was harder to do than a power steering rack. I'm not even kidding. So anyway, um, you get a thermostat. It'll stay open. And I did a whole bunch of looking at various places like uh, on YouTube. And number one in my book is Ford Tech Make You Loco. It's got a great channel. If you haven't checked that channel out, dear God, what's wrong with you? If you have Fords, just if this dude is, is a genius. So anyway, um thermostat stuck open on my fusion i'm like uh oh gotta fix it and i look at the videos out there and they're saying that the best way to do this is that fusions have a reverse cooling system which sucks and because of that you need to vacuum fill the cooling system okay so ford tech make you logo he's his channel he recommends uh, like a tool to do this that's about 140 bucks so i'm like okay well Tools are tools, I'll buy a tool, whatever. But then I started looking to have my mechanic do it was $288, okay? To have me do it was $25 for a brand new Ford thermostat and this tool was 75 bucks. So I'm into it for literally 100 bucks and I saved 180 bucks. Now I did get beat up and it didn't go exactly according to plan, but it did go well. And so now I'm going to talk about the tool anyway, because I've now got the problem fixed on the Fusion. So I'm going to open it up here, let you guys take a look inside. A couple of dings first off on the, on the packaging. So it comes with several different O-rings, and I didn't have a problem finding the fitting I needed to get into the tank. And I'm going to talk about a little bit about how this works in a minute. Um... I made a few rookie mistakes, but one big ding on Harbor Freight for this. Number one, it comes with a quick connect. I threw another one on there, so you can attach the air to it. Here's the problem. You can't shut the case with the freaking quick connect on. That's stupid. Fix it, okay? That's some bad blow-molded case design. Yes, this is 100% a Chi-Com tool, no doubt about it. Um, it is a cheapy, you know... But you figure for a guy like me who's a shade tree mechanic, far from mechanic, in fact, I'm not even pretending to be a mechanic, um, to get a tool for 75 bucks, and now I got it. And if I got to do this again, you know what? It's probably worth the money. Um, and now I got the tool. So the wife's breaks down, the kids breaks down, the thermostat goes bad, I can do this. So um, I'm going to roll some footage in here of how it actually works. We're going to show you how it is in action because there's not a lot of information out here right now on this thing, which is kind of surprising because a lot of times you'll find good reviews on this stuff. So uh, let me uh, show you how it works and then uh, I'll come back and we will uh, finish this up. Okay, so this one here has to be completely shut off and I'm pulling a vacuum now. It's pulling a vacuum. If you look... It started off at zero, and as soon as I turned this, it jumped and then some, man. Now I'm at negative 25. If I look at my coolant, you can see my main air, my main hose to my radiator, it's actually collapsing because of that. And it's holding study at 25 right now, pulling that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut the air off. And we're going to see if it holds that. But see, this is the advantage 
is that now you look at that coolant hose, man. Let's see if I can get a good pick of it here. My main coolant hose right here, you can see it's collapsed. And that's the one leading directly into the radiator. So this thing's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, it has a pulled a vacuum on the system. And it's staying at negative 25. So what we'll do is we're going to leave that at negative 25. And we're going to make sure that it's still pulling that vacuum. But if you can see this one, which is the one for the filler line right here, this one needs to be shut, turned all the way towards the front. And then you just turn the air on. And the air blows through here and creates vacuum in the system. Now it's not going to do any more right now. My old craftsman. All right, guys, so we've been there for one to two minutes. It's dropped a little bit, but nothing severe. I'm now to step two. Manual says step two. What I'm going to do is, is I'm actually going to turn the filler hose and it says keep it at the same level as the tool so here I got the coolant all right the coolant is right there okay just 50 50 mix this car doesn't need anything special so I'm gonna try to keep the coolant filler at the same height as this and they're saying disconnect the air so you disconnect the air from the system because the vacuum will actually pull the uh, coolant back into all the areas it needs to go to so we're gonna try this I don't know how it's gonna work that's why we're doing the video because I haven't found uh, anything for this so uh, let's give her a shot here here goes nothing guys okay it's fucking sucking that shit down and then some so they said keep it close and I'm trying to make sure I get to the bottom. I do not want air back in this system. It's sucking it in. You can see that right now it's at the full cool mark of there. I think it probably sucked down. I don't even know how much. I've still got collapsed hoses though. So I'm not sure... It says when the gauge reaches zero, the system is true. Turn the control knob. So, um, yeah, it's still filling. Ah, there it went down. You can see on the on the bottle it actually went down. So we're gonna. It says when it reaches zero, it's full. So you can stop, reassess. But yeah, it's putting it in there, buddy. You can actually see it right there. Oh, okay, so that's what I wanted to avoid right there. So I'm going to take this all the way out because it sucked. Like, that's air in the system now because it sucked the whole bottle dry. So it put a whole bottle in there uh, that fast. So we're still way up by like negative 15 pounds of pressure in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put more coolant into the bottle because that one's pretty much shot. And we're going to try some more. Okay, so second bottle is in. Most of a second bottle. So it pretty much took two bottles to get it down to zero. I still got a full coolant line. If I open it up right now, you'll kind of hear a little bit going in there. But... Yeah, man, she's full. Now, coolant reservoir looks about there, so it's good in the bottom. And my hoses are no longer collapsed, so look at there. It freaking filled that all the way up. And because it held a vacuum, I know that my reinstallation job on the thermostat was good. So... Like I said, um, this is a review of the tool. So far, so good, but we'll get it on the road and see if it's still got air pockets in it. It did do kind of some weird stuff 
when it got towards the end of the second bottle where it was like wow and it was sucking air it seemed like but hopefully that's not going to cause any air bubbles in my system i'm not i'm assuming not but we will see but yeah this was pretty slick uh, this is one way to do it that's for sure um so uh yeah we're gonna keep going here and see how it turns out so anyway guys there you go it does work uh, it actually does work as advertised. Now, two things on this. Number one, I still needed to do the purge system. I did get it overheat, and I did get an air pocket in the system. Learn from my mistakes. Two things. Number one, don't fill out of the freaking coolant bottles. Fill out of something clear, because the second that thing does not... Uh, the second that thing does not have coolant, this filler piece does not have coolant... The whole way around it man it's gonna suck air right into your system and you might as well not even mess with it so first step first thing i'll tell you right there put it somewhere you can actually watch the level as it drops um because i'm telling you right now that that was frustrating i was like oh my god you know here we go luckily again ford tech make you loco if you haven't checked out that channel do because what he did was, is he shows a system way to ver purge what little air pockets you have in the system, just revving the car up and figuring it out. And once I did that, I'm good to go. So I'm running at 195 temp and it ain't moving. So I have completely fixed the system. Um, I now have a wonderful working um, thermostat in the car. So yay for me. Anyway, if you've got to do stuff like this, uh, and you have you're thinking about buying the Maddox tool, just as a DIYer kind of home guy. I mean, hey, how many times are you going to use it for 75 bucks? I don't know that I'd use it professionally, but hey, for 75 dollars, pay the money. You got the tool. If it ever comes up again, you got the tool. And hey, in my opinion, uh, men can ha ha never have enough of two things. One is tools, and the other one's guns. So hey, I got another tool out of the deal, and I got to fix the car. So. Uh, there you go. Dude, they tied the hose together with a zip tie, so I'm all worried I gotta cut it off, as opposed to just tying it together with a bread tie or just leaving it loose in there. So, come on, man. Really, Harbor Freight, you could do a little better than that. Tell, tell the Chinese kid to quit putting zip ties on the, uh, on the, uh, filler hose. So, anyway, uh, like I said, if you like this kind of thing, I don't care. If you want to subscribe, I don't care because I don't do any of this for you. I do it for me. Thanks.